Hey Chamstein fans, I'm heading eastbound on Highway 46. I'm actually heading in the direction that James uh, Donald Turnipseed would have been going east, cutting across Highway 46 and Jimmy's westbound path going west and I'm going to turn as Donald Turnap Seed would have been turning north to Fresno on Highway 41 coming up. I've never seen so much traffic for such a little pass in the middle of nowhere. I was going to pull over and it was quite dangerous coming uh, westbound as Jimmy was so I turned around on Chalame where I apparently I think that's where they towed J Jimmy's 550 Spider. And uh, it's really, really amazing how, how busy this intersection is and, and probably was back then. Okay, we're coming up. And funny thing is, I'm exactly at the approximate time Jimmy got killed, September 30th, 1955. Here we are. This is the uh, turn where uh, Donald Turnipseed would have been turning north, bound on Highway 41, coming uh, going east from Paso Robles. Okay, here we are, James Dean fans. Okay, and apparently James James Dean, uh, he, when he when he hit uh, head on uh, Donald Turnip Seed, he he landed about right there. They uh, they said northwest of the turn. Okay, here it is. This is the famous turn, and here's the James Dean Memorial Junction, and right there that was where James Dean lost his life. Okay, well, in that split second, the greatest star of the 20th century was lost to the pantheon of actors. Okay, now I'm going to get back on Highway 46, and I'm going to turn east, and I'm going to turn around and do what Jimmy, Jimmy's perspective would have seen going west to Paso Robles. Okay, uh, and funny thing is, uh, as Jimmy was going west, the sun was going down and uh, I think it's just very poetic that we're here at the exact time that James Dean got killed September 30th and the last thing he said the rough weather wreck was that guy's got to see us he'll stop okay I'm gonna turn around now I missed that turn off here we go okay here we go here we we're go. gonna make a u-turn and then we're gonna make another U-turn up there ahead because I want you guys to get a perspective of... Watch that car behind me. I want you to get a perspective of what Jimmy Dean would have seen coming west. Don't, there's a car. Okay, go straight. Okay, where it's a little, little busy here, little frenetic and there's what with these cones and all i think that's a little problem here they had just obviously uh, paved this road this ribbon of road and i i think that's what they call polonial pass that jimmy was heading down that fateful day okay and we're gonna we're looking for a safe place to make a u-turn and uh we just want to grab it and like i said it's poetic in a, in a morbid way that we're here at, at the approximate time Jimmy got killed. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to stop it here for you James Dean fans and as until we find a place to make a U-turn, I'll start it up again. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, we're heading back up. I guess this is what they call Polonial Pass. And uh, like I said, Jimmy's last words according to Rolf Weatherwork was that guy's got to see us he'll stop and uh, if you can imagine that real low sleek slung silver aluminum bodied 550 spider i guess it would have been pretty difficult to uh catch a catch a glimpse if not a glimmer of something shooting out of uh of the highway coming uh coming west so uh Okay, we're pulling over here for you James Dean fans and I want to get for the I guess for the for the for just the moment uh, The sense of what J Jimmy would have seen coming down this pass with the Sun in his eyes So I think that was probably a obviously a problem maybe for Jimmy and uh, We're gonna make a u-turn now for you James Dean fans Thank you for being a little patient it, 
it's quite the frenetic situation. Okay, here's the path that Jim Steen would have seen coming west, and over those hills is Paso Robles and the Pacific Ocean, and uh, kind of an odd, unfitting place for one of the greatest stars of 20th century, a legend in his own right, to meet his end. Okay, here we come, and uh, it's a beautiful sunset. We're heading directly west, and I found out back there at Blackwell's Corners that uh, Cholame is 30 miles and not 70 miles, so I must have read um, my information wrong, but here we come. And uh, according to the forensics of the Highway Patrol, they said Jimmy was only going 55 knots, 70 or 80 or 90, like a lot of eyewitnesses. And one more thing, the uh, memorial in Cholame, a couple of hundred feet from here, uh, they said that Jimmy got killed at 5.59, so again, there's a little discrepancy. Okay, here we are, heading west, and this is exact. This is approximately where Donald Turnip scene would have made a left going north. And here we are at the Faithful Junction, where the great James Dean lost his life. Here we go, folks, right here. Okay, thank you, and uh, might as well keep it going. James Dean Memorial Junction. And uh, let me go follow through. And, uh, and I remember reading a book in the 80s about the last moments of James Dean. And apparently they, they towed his car to this Cholame, this little village. And I know that that cafe was still there. And there was a garage where they parked it in there, the tow truck driver. And uh, they said also, which was a little odd, uh, synchronistic coincidental morbid situation that the lady that played his uh, the lady that gave him the land and giant the sister of Rock Hudson I forgot her name Van Joe jo Van Fleet they said that she was coming on this same road about a half hour later to stop to have a, a lunch or no not dinner but she would have stopped she was stopping here to have dinner here in Chalame at this cafe Frank's cafe if this is the original one and they said that and she's the one that was in East of Eden with him. She was the prostitute mother. And she said that she walked in here 30 minutes, about 30 minutes after Jimmy died. And can you believe it? She walked in and they said some something happened up the road. There was a terrible accident. And they go, she goes, well, what happened? Oh, some, they said some young actor kid named James Dean got killed. So here it is. Here's the famous James Dean Memorial by a very wealthy Japanese fan. He put this up in 1983 and he says here on the marker that James Dean got killed at 559 for what it's for what it's worth. So this guy loved Jimmy so much he bought all his his photos that Sanford Roth ever uh, took of James Dean including the last uh, death photos of James Dean. Okay thank you and here's Jack's Jack's Ranch Cafe and I'm I have to look it up and do my due diligence for you James Dean fans because I'm not too sure if this was the same cafe, but it probably was because it looks like it's from that era. Okay, may the, may the great James Dean never be forgotten. Good night, sweet prince. Thank you.